Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back into the $10 million cattle ranch on Western Wilds. And uh, I know we're a $10 million ranch, but I'm still using the old case, the 1030. It's my uh, my utility tracker for, really, this is its only job, to be perfectly honest, guys. This is the only job, is dragging headers around. Works fine. Totally fine. So today, well, we're going to be pushing, well, we're moving away from our silage. And we're going to be moving into, well, pushing cattle. Like I said, we're trying to make $10 million now on milk is the new plan. But I still got to harvest some stuff. We got to diversify. You guys get it. And um, let's just get all this disconnected. Perfect. Now, like I said, $10 million from our cattle. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. We, I mean, the silage is making us bank. But we're moving away from that because we want to try new things. And, well, that's going to be today. That's going to be the start of it. And, well, like I said, we got to diversify stuff. So we got we got our soybean field here. This is our first harvest, actually, away from, from silage. This is the first chance I've had to get into a normal harvest. And today we're, we're doing that just with, well, soybeans. So, yeah, we do have a few tasks to do today. The beans are number one on my list. Let's just get this connected. And in we go. So, like I said, soybeans number one. I need to find some more ways to make things simpler. I need to um, make the farm run a little bit quicker in some aspects. Don't get me wrong, things are going pretty smooth, but we're still trying to find more efficiencies on this cattle ranch. And it's going to take a little bit of time, I think, just to test some stuff out. And you guys know what's coming, right? You guys saw it. I know you guys know what's coming. And let's get through these beans. We've got quite a few, actually. Yield is really good. We've been working on our environmental stuff to make sure that we get great yield off these no weeds. Terrain's looking good. So I'm more, I'm impressed. We've already got 25,000 liters of uh, beans in this in this uh, combine. Things are going really good. You can see we haven't gotten into this field very much. That's actually a really good yield. Unfortunately, beans don't pay out as much as I would like. It is what it is. So getting those beans in there, we'll take this back later on. We'll probably get this pretty much full. I bet you we've got about 100,000 liters on this small field here, guys. Look at that. Perfect. Get through this. We'll be done in, uh, it'll probably take us half hour or so to get through this field. It's not the biggest field. I want to expand this stuff, but we didn't have the money. We spent our 10 million bucks building our farm. We didn't get a lot of farmlands. I kind of regret that, but at the same time, I'm not going to need them. We're focusing on cattle, remember. We're doing milk. Pretty much only. We'll probably sell some cows as well as uh, we get new ones. But yeah, milk is a big thing, right? All right, coming through, finished off the harvest on that bean field. I think 79,000 is what we ended up with. Not bad, not a bad harvest. I'm going to drop this all off here with the old case. Look at that, case with case. That's a great setup right here. Drop this off. We'll do some maintenance on this a little later on. Just going to drop it for now. We're not going to worry about it. It's early in the morning. I want to get through absolutely everything today as fast as we can. And you know what? We're going to go back. I'm going to take care of this field. I'm going to make sure this field's prepped with some lime. Get her done for the day. And then come come the spring when we're ready to replant with some more beans out here, this field will be pretty much ready to go. No, like it's, it should be fast, right? Yeah, exactly. Should be quick. Just a couple more passes here. You can see, uh, look at like we're, we're not even dropping that much lime. I'm going to be able to finish this whole field, I bet, with one load of lime. So what, 18,000 liters I think we hold in the Bredal. So not a problem. We're going to get this done today very quickly. All our lines going to be dropped with one load. We're going to have to go back to the farm. And like I said, that is, that's one of the nice things about this. Now, I do need to find better ways to fertilize. I have, we're, we're taking rid of weeds. We've got the spot and spray, so we're going to be fish efficient there. But I still need to find better ways to fertilize. And that's really what we're going to be talking about in a bit today. Perfect. Done with the lime. Lime looks good. You can see we didn't even need the lime, all of it. There's some spots that didn't even need any. Let's go back, take care of uh, the rest of it. But we dump off the rest of our beans that we had. Like I said, 78,000 liters, not bad. Fields prepped, ready to go. We can leave that alone until spring. I think we're good to go here, folks. And move on to making things more efficient. Now, we're going to grab the old Kentworth. Oh, this thing's looking rough. <laughs> uh, we need to start moving some bales around. We need to start moving our money makers around. And we've been, of course, bailing like madmen out here on Western Wilds. And uh, it's worked out fairly flawlessly. Let's be honest, it's been pretty good considering, I mean, we made 10 million bucks in five years. 10 million in five years. I would have never thought that was possible, uh, but that was all done with silage bales. $10 million, five years, silage bales. It's the way to go. We're moving on though, but we we still need some money. You can see we're a little broke. We, we think we owe about $200,000 right now. So um, 
The $10 million ranch is in debt, and it's time we, uh, we, well, we got a pair of debts back, so let's start off with that. You saw we had a whole schwack load of bales. Let's see if we can cut through the ranch, and there we go. Start loading these things up. Let's load all these bales up. Look at them all. Look at all these marshmallows. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a good payday. Uh, it's going to be several million dollars. We've got to be able to make a couple million bucks off this, at least, to pay off our debts and get back in the black, and so we can advance this ranch a little bit further. But to the train yard we go. Not bad. So, first load. hundred and... What? $444,000. Oh, okay. So, that, not bad. Almost almost half a million dollars one trip is what we're getting right now. That is definitely reasonable. I am more than happy with that. So, we'll see how many trips we could do with this. Get our bank accounts blocked. Like I said, we still owe 200 grand, mind you. But we're, at least we're back in the black right now. And I got some stuff I want to buy, like yesterday. But, cattle. Cattle clutch. Let's worry about the cattle. That's really what I got to worry about. I keep on forgetting. I'm like, oh yeah, we'll buy some toys. No, no, no. We're worried about cattle today. Making as much money as we can to get prepped for that for the next year. There we go. That is the end of all, everything. That's all our bales I'm selling off. So 4.6 million. Actually, you know what? I'll make one more trip. We'll make one more trip, I think. But I do want to keep some silage bales because I need TMR. We still need TMR. And we still have a plan for, well, cattle feed that I'm not going to deal with today, but soon. That's gonna, you're gonna have to stay tuned for that, guys. You're gonna have to stay tuned. If you haven't missed, if you haven't caught how we got all these bales, of course, make sure you guys go check the uh, the videos prior to this. I'll make sure I put a card up the top there. Go check out that because this, this bailing process is ridiculous, but it works so well. It works so well. It's been fantastic. And you know what? That gives me a chance as well. We're loading these bales up. Thank you, new subscribers. Welcome into the channel. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the content. Cheers to you guys. Thanks for joining. Make sure you guys come check us out in the live stream and uh, come say hi. I would love to chat with you guys then. Let's go make another load. Last load. Yeah, this is going to be my last load. I'm going to keep the rest of these bales, and we're going to keep these bad boys for cattle feed. That is the plan. All right, all wrapped up. That's it, guys. We're done. Take a look inside. Take a look inside. Take a look inside. Look at this. Okay, so we got a bunch of hay bales from our, our last harvest, and then I've got another stack of, of silage bales. I still have a whole bunch out in the field, but this is enough for now. And now we're going to deal with the milk. Finally dealing with milk. This is going to be our first load. I'm going to load this trailer up. We're loading up right now. I believe we have like almost 300,000 liters of milk already. Uh, so it's been about a half a year we've been really produce producing milk. I've got five years to make five, $10 million, not five, $10 million, five years in milk. We really got to push these guys. And I don't think, I really don't think we're going to have enough space from our current farms, guys. I don't think there's enough space in here. Just to get enough milk. Like I, I need more cows. I need more cattle. Oh, what are we going to get? What are we going to get? What are we going to get? First load ever. 200 and some odd thousand. Uh, see, after we sold off all of our milk, we only ended up with roughly three to four hundred thousand dollars, I believe, is our number. I'll have to go double check the, uh, the stats on that. So after six months or half a year, we made roughly three hundred and four hundred thousand dollars in milk. Not quite enough. I don't think. I think we're really going to need to find a way to push this by growing. We need to grow. We're never going to make it, I don't think, otherwise. It's just not going to be enough. The cows aren't producing fast enough, so I've got to find some alternatives. If we're going to, if we're going to take this seriously, we're going to need to double down on the cattle, guys, and that's going to have to happen, so... Uh, I'm not sure what to do with this yet. I still got to think about this. I got another plan. Just had some toys dropped off. We're picking up a heli to help spray. Now, we already have a helicopter on this farm. We already have a helicopter, but it's not exactly, well, it doesn't really have a great use. No, no, don't get me wrong. It's, it's a beauty of a heli. It's nice to tour around the farm, give you know people the, the sights, the highlights, but we need something else still. So let me head back down and pick up some, uh, we got to pick up a little bit of fertilizer and go load this thing up. Just drop this right on in beside. And uh, let's let it load on in, get all this fertilizer loaded in this. Now, it doesn't hold a whole heck of a lot. I'm not even sure what the, ma the, ma the amount it holds is, but this pallet is, is going to last us a little bit. Just gonna, it's out of the way. Don't hit the blades in the way by. But like I said, it doesn't hold a whole heck of a lot. As you can see, we didn't use very much there. This is one of my concerns with this, is it just doesn't hold enough. So how much am I actually going to be able to use this? We're going to have to wait and find out. Let's go, let's go check this thing out. Hop on in, guys. Let's go for a, a little ride. Oh, boy. Is this thing safe? I don't even know. Uh, you know what? 
we've done a few a few runs into helis before. We've got this. We can handle this. I'm just like I said. I'm wondering if the efficiency is really going to be worthwhile. We do have the nitrogen. We have the pellet nitrogen. We can use, but this is so much more fun. I'm not going to lie. Can it be made more efficient? Now I'd like to do like the grass fields off the side there. But we're not in need of that right now. The grass is fine. We just need to take care of, well, the last field to plant, which is going to happen in the spring. Let's not worry about the grass fields for now. Let me just go for a quick run around this farm and head out that way. Oh, wow. Look at this. Okay, that was great. But I love the look of the field with the lime on it when you get the fertilizer. But the problem is, guys, look at how much fertilizer I used. One single pass. I went through seven-eighths of my tank. Like, like 85% of my tank is gone. 90% of it, even. That's ridiculous. Yeah, 90%. Uh, there's no way I'm getting back across. That's the end of my fertilizer right there. Why? What's, what am I going to do with this? This is ridiculous. I'm, I, if I could... Like, I'm trying to find a case for this to use this helicopter because I love using helis. But what's the point? It, I can only do one pass at a time and then I got to fly back. I need like a sprayer support truck almost parked right by the field in order to use this. Or fly back to my farm every time, land, and fill up. I mean, it only holds, what, 650? Yeah, 650, that's it. That's going to be a, a lot of pain. Now, I had planned to use that for my large grass field, my silage field, my hay field. I just don't think it's going to work for us, guys. I mean, the amount we're going to be running back and forth, I don't think I need to spray as much. But, man, it's going to take me forever to do this. And, and it's not even all that much faster for me to do this. I could probably get this done just as fast almost with uh with any of my my ground-based nitrogen fertilizing units or even the sprayer <sighs> see we've got the 40 the 40 45 we could use that i don't know let's see if we can get a couple of these runs done and see if, if it's much faster but like i said i'm probably going to need to reload this refill this like every pass almost just give it a little space down here because i don't want to run into those telephone poles down the left side I just don't know if I could do this and get it done at any kind of speed. Uh, it's it's not looking all that promising right now. We may need to come up with some other options. We may need to come. We need to think of some other options. All right, let's go. Get a few more of these done. A few more passes through, and uh, we'll see what happens here. Okay, field's done. But like I said, not the best job. Anyways, we'll think about that a little bit more. Now, as you can see, there's our main cattle pasture. We got some lands down here we might be able to develop for more cattle areas. We've got space in behind our barn. We've got space down here, though. I'd like to put more cattle. I'd like to keep it all together. But we also need to think of some more, well, productions possibly for making some food for our cattle to really maximize the amount of time we're doing that. Because right now, I'm spending most of my time making TMR. Kind of a pain, but it has to be done. So, got to figure out if this is going to work best. If we put some more barns down through the woods down here on the left. And then behind me, that might be the option. But we also have some space just kind of up to the north right that way as well that we might have to consider. Anyways, this is for this helicopter. I don't know, guys. I'm not I'm not sold on this. This is it's just too small. It's it is difficult. I'm sure we could get better with it and really and really move these fields and really put that fertilizer down. But why would I use this over well, maybe like the our sprayer? We've got our self-propelled sprayer unit right here. Why wouldn't I not use this? This seems like this is a better option for me. I don't know. Might have to think about this a little bit more. Maybe that's just going to be for decoration. But for now, I need to worry about cattle. I'm just going to focus on cattle for the winter. We're going to be making some TMR like madmen out here. I've got the bales all prepped. I think we're good to go. We just got to make a lot of TMR, guys. That's really what I've got to do now. It's going to be TMR for the next three or four months until March. And then we got to replant that one field we just fertilized. And I think it's rinse and repeat. If I need money for some reason, I mean, we do have the silage field. I'm not going to worry about that. My focus is going to be 10 million, 10 million in milk and maybe some selling some cattle. We'll see how we do, but it's good. We need to expand pretty quickly here to do this in five years. So guys, we gave ourselves 10 years on Western Wilds to become the ultimate rancher and make $10 million in that 10 years. But you know what? We did it in five. We did it in five years. You know what? We got to make ourselves look a little bit better. Oh, yeah. Look at those shades. Not quite blue blockers, but hey, I'll take those. <laughs> now we look like the true millionaire ranchers we are. So our goal from the start was to start with nothing and after 10 years, make that $10 million. And we did that in five, like I said. And another goal was to do that. Well, 
legally and realistically, of course, that's somewhat changed as time has gone on. And, well, we're still doing things somewhat realistically. Things have gotten pretty extreme. Hey, give a guy a break. We're making like 1,500 bales every harvest, which is like three times a year. Guys, we're making well over 5,000 bales a year. Come on, give a guy a break here. It's still realistic-ish. Ish? And with all the money we made from those silage bales, well, it allowed us to build the most ridiculous, most amazing, the craziest ranch we've ever built here on Western Wilds. It's gotta be the best ranch on Western Wilds, right? I mean, the amount of stuff we've managed to put onto this ranch with the time we've built here in five years has been, well, kind of off the charts, to be honest with you. Things have gone too well. And we feel like we're just kind of hitting our stride right now, but it's time well, it might be time to move along a little bit. So the farm itself, like I said, has made $10 million from silage bales pretty much alone. And it's time to change that up. We're now moving over to making $10 million off of our milk. We've got five years to do it. This is our amazing $10 million cattle ranch. We've got our, our calving pen right here, our baby cows. We've got baby cows right here, our calving pen. But things are slowly progressing. And it seems to be working out okay. I mean, our main pen over here, the main cattle barn, with all our cows in it, we've got roughly 500 head of cattle on the farm so far. And this has so far been working out, but in order to make the $10 million we want in five years, guys, we're going to need to really push this. And not quite sure exactly what we're going to do yet. The weather, of course, is hampering us a little bit right now as we move into spring. But our food situation is really kind of where it's at. It's a lot of work, of course. I mean, we need to feed some of these pens, uh, that main large cattle barn. We're in there twice a day, bringing TMR across the farm. That's a lot of TMR. I feel like I've been living in this barn, loading this mixer with our silage, our hay, and uh, of course the, the bot straw we got. This feels like this is my only job I do now. This is, this is it, day in, day out. This is my life now. Oh crap, I missed already. I can't imagine doing that day in, day out. So in order for us to be successful with our big plan of making $10 million on the cattle ranch, we need to figure out a couple of things. First of all, I need to figure out exactly how much milk I'm making with what I've got right now and how long that's gonna take. We've done one sale, so we've got a bit of an idea there. Secondly, I need to think about well, how much of this TMR, this feed, I'm going to need to feed these cows. Now, well, guys, we're making an absolute ton of silage bales. We're making a decent amount of hay. Right now, the straw situation is a little bit, well, it's a little out there, but I'm not too worried about that, of course. We don't need the straw necessarily. It does help, but we don't need it. We have enough goods in order to make enough food for what we've got right now. My bigger problem is, guys, is a time problem. I don't have the time to deal with all this. Now, dropping the food off, yeah, okay, I can do with that. The loading of the TMR and mixing it myself is becoming the biggest problem of them all. As much as I hate to say it, I just don't feel like moving that many bales around by myself. So I need to come up with a plan as we kind of finish off the winter here. Hopefully we get into spring right away and find some better ways to deal with all of this because I, I don't think I'm going to have the time to do what I want to do and meet the goals that we've set for ourselves with it is right now. Let's give you an idea of my day-to-day -day process, of course. We start off, we come in, we check our milk we've got set up in the big cattle barn as we move finally into spring and things are warming up. And we move this milk over to the main cistern because we don't have enough storage space. That's just how it has to be. We're storing it all in the main cistern, which is right here. And then from there, we go in and we just start feeding our cows. Now, I need to start over here on the large pasture because the large pasture tends to go through, well, more food than what our cattle can handle. So they end up eating everything. And then we're relying on hay and, and grass to eat. I don't want that. I want them to have the fresh TMR there. We're working so hard to keep them on, which also means I need to be in here later on today. They tend to go through more than, than what I can stuff in here in, in one day. So I need to be on top of this. It's TMR in here twice a day. It's, it's, my, it's my life now, like I said. And then we go up into the main cattle barn and same thing here, multiple loads of TMR need to go in here. And it's just so much work to try to keep the cows in the pen and then take care of, well, feeding all these guys at the same time. It's not that feeding problem, like I said, that's the big thing for me, guys. It's actually loading everything. I can drive by here, literally, 
in about five seconds and have them fed. It's going back to the barn and loading them with TMR every single time to keep all these baby cows happy. And because happy baby cows means happy clutch and more money in my pocket at the end of the day. So our new strategy, new plan is enacted. We've built something that I really do hope is going to help us with well, what my problem is. And that is this TMR factory. We have a brand spanking new TMR factory right here. And I'm hoping this fixes all my woes. Over on this side, of course, this is where we're going to be loading all of our TMR. Everything goes into the silo here. And we're just going to, have to be able to pull up and unload, get our TMR into our silo king. On this side, this is where all our bales go. So we're getting our silo bales, our silage bales, our hay, and our straw. And from there, we're also going to need a little something extra, which we'll have to figure out. But I mean, this this seems like this very could be very beneficial for me. Now, this here is the silage additive on this far side. That's something I'm a little bit concerned about. I mean, we do have all our bales on the far end. We can dump them in here easy enough. The one thing I'm not sure is about the additive at the far end. We're going to figure that out and how that's going to work into things. Now, I can load up all my bales. I'm going to take a bunch of stuff here for this test, guys. We're going to load all our bales and just toss them all in. There goes all our hay bales. We're going to put our straw bales all the way over to the far side still. Get all these hay bales in there. Push these straw bales to the far side as well. And of course, I don't have enough straw once again. So we're back to buying straw. And this is where the rest of our farm is slowly going to supplement this. Because I am going to be planting crops in order to get some straw. Because this cost me like $30,000. Ridiculous. I hate paying for straw, guys. I can't stand paying for straw. Don't worry, we're still doing things super realistic. So there you go. We've got everything filled into our brand new TMR mixing station. We've got enough stuff to start up at least a little bit and uh, start making a little bit of, of TMR for our cows. We've got our hay straw, silage, and of course, a little bit additive. Now, things are interesting with this, and it's going to be a little bit better. The silage additive is something we're going to have to add in. But more importantly, I don't need to worry as much about hay because, well, straw and hay, we're putting equal parts in there. Now, silage and the additive, of course, are something we'll have to put in here. Now, the silage is the big one, but less hay is good for me because that means I don't have to go hay as much. And that's good because haying takes more work for me right now. Silage is easy. But one thing is I do need some additive, guys. I don't have a lot. I've got some over in the barn here. Let me go grab the pallet. We'll bring this pallet over and add this silage additive in. Now, this is one thing I am kind of concerned about. Grab the silage additive out of the barn. Don't worry, it's it's light stuff. We can pick this up. Just throw it in the back of the truck. Now, if I run out of silage additive, guys, I am no longer making TMR, which is something I'm a little bit concerned about. The nice thing is, when you didn't have that additive, you were always making TMR. It didn't matter. But now I so need to concern myself a little bit with the fact that if I don't have the silage additive into our mixer, it's going to automatically shut off and I'm not going to be making TMR. And you know what? It could kind of well get me because all of a sudden if i don't have this additive in here which i'm loading in right now if it's not in there and i all of a sudden need some tmr and i forgot to mix it and double check my amounts i could get totally screwed because i don't have any i just got to keep my eyes on this i've got to be all over this and make sure we're all good let's double check our numbers make sure everything is good and there we go we got a little bit of a little bit of additive i think we're gonna get some more of this guys Get our additive up, and then maybe we'll put all our bales in this. I think we're good to be good. We're good to be good to go. We're good to go. It, it can't. We're, we'll be fine. It'll be fine. It, I mean, it's the least amount we need, but we still need to do it. So we've managed now to load everything into into our our TMR mixer. There, it's time to kind of rinse this thing up. I, I this Kenworth. I've been watching this for a little bit. It is in rough shape. We clean this thing up. I'll uh, give it a bit of a maintenance day and clean everything up and get it good to go. I mean, this truck here, we've been running ragged, so I want to make sure it's good to go and keeps on running strong for us because we're going to be needing this for the foreseeable future, that's for sure. See, look at that. A bunch of grass, big heap of grass in there. That's actually the hay, but uh, pretty happy with this. It's going to be like we're able to tell how much we have in here, which is a good visual cue as we kind of go down to silage. Um, it, not quite as much, but it holds more, so that's something to be interested in. And then, of course, our straw, which is... Well, we, we're still hurting in the straw department for now. I mean, just, just look at this. I mean, you can see the straw is low, but the, the hay and the silage, the silage, we, we could hold so much more of. It's like we hold about a million liters of uh, a, mil, a million farming units of all this stuff. And then, of course, our additive is something I need to be concerned about. Like I said, I need to keep my eye on that, that additive for sure. Oh, boy. Great demand for milk. 
I wasn't expecting that. I was planning on testing our TMR machine right now, but there's great demand for milk. I think I should sell it off right away. I mean, let's go check out our prices. Yeah, look, 3,000. That's almost a thousand bucks more per thousand farming units uh, of milk. A thousand dollars more per thousand. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah, we're going to sell milk, guys. We're selling the milk. It's got to go. Everything that we have in here. We don't have a whole bunch in here. We got a couple hundred thousand. I was planning on selling this later. But we're selling it now. I don't care. That's a great price. That's over a thousand. That's about a thousand more than I've seen. So we're going to go take this all. Get rid of it right now. Try and make a little bit of money. Like I said, we got the, we're got we hitting two birds with one stone here. We're trying to figure out how much money we've got to make. And how much food we've got to use to make all of this. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Now, we've already made roughly 500,000 off our milk in the first year. We're going into year two pretty quick here. Uh, so, like, the next month, I think, is probably be technically the start of year two. Yeah, not bad. Like, 200,000 bucks almost from one load. We've got a few more loads to make here, too. In fact, I'm going to drain down absolutely everything that we've got. Any milk that I've got here in the system. We'll start off at the main cattle barn. We'll drain this one down, fill this thing on up. And then from there... Go down over to our calving pen as well. We'll grab all the milk out of there. Shouldn't be too much over here, but we're grabbing milk everywhere we possibly can because I want to get everything at this price that I can possibly get. Um, this is some good prices right now, seriously. All right, last load-ish. Yeah, last load, guys, we're full. Back out to the sell point. Let's get rid of all of this milk. Um, wasn't planning on selling this right now, I'm not going to lie, but you do what you got to do. Big money, big money, big money, big money. Oh boy, that's a half a million dollars we've made from milk right there. Half a million bucks? That ain't bad. Huh. Interesting. All right, see you tomorrow. All right, so I had a chance overnight here to do a little bit of math. And, wait a minute. Uh, still no precipitation progression. Weird. That's weird. No, we had some chances to do some math. Now, if my math is correct, so we made about a million bucks last year, and we want to make ten and five, so... That means we got to double our production. Now, the big question is, okay, if I double my production of cattle, will I have enough feed? Will this TMR machine make enough feed in order to do that? I can make enough silage bales and enough food, but will this mixer actually mix it fast enough to take care of all that? That's the question I need to answer. And let's go take a look and see what it did now. It's been, well, the month. We'll take a look. And we've got 4,000 or 100,000 liters from everything we put in there. So it can do it. It can definitely do it. I think we use about 100,000 right now a day. Yeah, we're four times. That should be more than enough to double our production or over double our production at least. That's awesome. Filled up already. Look at how fast that fills up. That's so good. All right, let's go. Let's go feed some cows with our brand new TMR. I wonder if it tastes different for these guys because it's a little bit of a different recipe than what we were doing before. Now we've got the additive in there as well. I buy the gourmet expensive stuff because when I drink it, I want to taste it. But guys, this is great because this means now we should be able to double the amount of cattle we got on this farm, on our ranch. We might even more than double it and still be able to make more than enough TMR for everybody. Everybody in the, in the large cattle pen outside, everybody at the calving pen out the outside, and then of course the big main pen right here in the middle is the one I'm always worried about because it does take so much. We have to do several loads into this every time. It's kind of a pain that way. And maybe we should figure out another way of moving, well, more TMR. I don't know. This seems like it's probably the best option. This is the biggest food mixer I can find. I mean, we could get like a dump truck or some kind of a loading wagon, I suppose. But man, this seems to work out pretty well. It's still a decent amount of TMR that fits in here. It's just, I've got to do this several times. Now, this is going to save me the time of mixing at least. I guess I can't really complain too badly, can I? And finally, we're going to make sure our, our baby cows are fed as well. This one here doesn't make us a whole lot. Let's be honest. It's I think we're at about 40 head of cows in here. Did I mention we had calves? Yeah, we've got we've got calves now, guys. The, ca the calves are here. Yeah, calves. All right, so I've got everything else built. Our cows are fed, and we've decided to build a few extra things. I told you this was going to happen, right? You guys knew this was going to happen. I told you I needed to increase our amount of production of milk. And the only way we can do that is with more cows. The only way we can make more milk is more cows, of course. It's nothing I can do with what we got over there. So, 
Well, we've had to build some new pens down beside, well, our bale storage areas. And we've got two brand new cattle barns built and ready to rock. All they need, well, we just need the milkers in there. We gotta get our cows in here. We gotta get a bunch of more, a, bu a bunch of more? We need to get a bunch more cows. Probably another, yeah, 500 to 700 head that will be in these, between these two barns. Look at this. Look at the amount of room we've got in here for activity. Lots of cows can go in here, guys. We're going to be putting lots and lots of cows in here. All all in the, the wish of making $10 million in milk. We're almost there. Well, no, we're not almost there. We're getting started. Things are starting to come together. We've got our cattle set up. We're just trying to find ways to make sure we can feed them. And the silage we've been making beforehand, that really helped out. So we've got our brand new TMR machine here. You can see we've got our hay. We've got our silage, of course. And then last of all, well, we're supposed to have some straw, but I'm not really, I'm not making any straw yet. Also, of course, don't forget, we need our mineral feed, of course. That is kind of one of the things that's kind of pushed me a little bit, but I got to make sure I got lots of mineral feed here. Something I got to buy. What do you do? Here's all of our cattle, of course. Take a look down here, guys. We've got two new brand new cattle barns that we set up. And it's another couple hundred head of cattle. Like, we've got lots of cattle. Get the lights on, fans on. It gets a little stinky in here. But we've got a bunch of cattle, guys. I've been, I've been really focusing on the cattle, let's be honest here. Yeah, we're like about 240 head of cattle in both barns. Which means we're at like a thousand head of cattle on this big ranch now. Of course, a thousand head, we've got to come up with the food. And this is what we've been doing. I mean, all the silage. It's all food for our cows, guys. This is ridiculous, but it, it works. So as for our new system here on the Easy Cattle Ranch, guys, of course, we're taking our TMR mixer that we have. We're just filling this up with pre-mixed TMR out of the TMR machine. It fills up relatively quickly. You can see we can just take off, drive it, fill it up, and head over. So no more messing around with bales and trying to get our recipe just right. We're now fully able to just go in here, dump everything in. It's already preset. We know exactly what we're going to get. Oh, this is going to be a tight squeeze. Uh, just kind of crank this over. Nice and easy. Best driver in farm sim. Yes. Uh, see, like I said, just get our mix just right. And then off to our cattle areas and very quickly dump it all in. Simple. I don't remember it being that easy. Now, as for products we've already sold, like I said, we sold about a million bucks worth of milk already. And that's been the first year we've sold that off. Now, we're over at the calfing barn, and we've also managed to sell off a little bit of cattle. Guys, I sold off a little bit of cattle. We've actually maxed out our pens over the over the new year, and we sold about $200,000 in new cattle, which actually is quite reasonable considering all things considered. Considering all things considered. Yeah, you got that right. Anyways, so 200,000, we're at $1.2 million of stuff sold. We're through about a year. We're coming together already. Now, just so you have an idea of what we're doing, guys, we're selling off roughly 60 head per pen. So we'll be able to do probably about, you know, looking like 300 by the time uh, the new year rolls around. And that's what we'll sell off every single year as far as cows go. Now, the milk we're producing thanks to this is kind of ridiculous. Between all these, we're making a lot of milk. So I think we're on track now after this to make enough milk to make that $10 million that we need to make to fulfill our goal within five years. I think after this year here, I think now that we have these extra cattle barns up and operational, I think we're good. The big thing is gonna be food and I've gotta stay on top of what we're doing right now. I really need to be just back and forth, going to get food. It's what I've gotta do. Each one of these pens is gonna need multiple trips. Fill in and then back over to go dumping off all this TMR. Seriously, this is, this is gonna be my life. Back and forth. Getting the TMR in, dropping it off, getting our cows fed, and then turning right around as soon as we get this done and getting back to the TMR machine to go fill up one more time. Like I said, this is my life. One more pen, well, more TMR to be made. You know what? I don't mind. It's okay. We got lots of TMR. Just got to stay on top of it, I guess, now. Last of our new pens. This is the red barn, of course. We got the red and blue over here. We got kind of gray over in the main farm. Finally getting her done today. Feeding the last of our cows. Happy cows means a uh, happy clutch. <laughs> but no, seriously, like it, it takes it was about 100,000 liters of TMR or 100,000 farming units of TMR before we added, well, like double or triple the amount of cattle we had. So 
Right now, we're looking probably like 500,000 liters to 750,000 we need. Now, we can see we're struggling to keep the TMR mixer full. Look at our straw, like I said, having some troubles there. Look at our menu here. You can see, yeah, straw is hurting, guys. We've got, well, the mineral feed's good. Hay is really good, but silage and the, the, the hay or the straw is not so good. Fortunately for silage, we've got stuff out in the field I can go pick up right now, but we need to get the extra trailers to tow with our truck. There we go. Where is the rest of our trailers? We were storing them here. Um, oh, that's right. We stored them over by the new cattle barns. I totally forgot about that. I thought they were here, but no, we moved them over when we were well, mixing up bales with hay the other day. But we're going to head back out there now. As far as our straw goes, guys, I don't have any options yet. We got to plant some wheat here still. We got oat behind us. The canola is almost ready to be pulled. We got some work to do on those fields soon. There's our trailers. Thank you. Let's grab these guys. Let's um, continue working um, realistically and, and legally. Legally and realistically, right? Yay! All right, guys, so that should be set up. I think we're good to go. Let's get in the field, pick up these bales. I mean, it's still working out fairly well for us this whole plan of picking up all these bales it's kind of ridiculous how many we're getting off this now this was done during a live stream guys we, we we took care of all this hay and silage making during a live stream so shout out to you guys new guys if you joined us during a live stream uh shout out to you guys welcome in new subscribers of course if you have a chance come join us during a live stream come hang out it's usually a pretty good time where things get a little chaotic and uh it's a lot of fun so welcome in new subscribers cheers to you guys uh, hope you guys are having a good day today. Oh boy, we got so many bales to go grab. Uh, we made a roughly 1,500 bales on this cut. We did 1,500 between our silage bales and our hay bales. So we're going to have to wait and see if this is going to be enough or how long this is going to last us. I'm not planning on doing any cuts of this because I don't want to use it for money right now. So we're full pretty much. This is our first dump into the TMR machine directly from the field at least. So let's see here. We can drop those in. Perfect. We've got to kind of do a little bit of a rigmarole here to get all the bales in. Um, once again, totally legal and realistic. Totally legal and realistic here over on Western Wilds as we drop all our silage bales off. Oh, I'm foreseeing a problem coming my way in the very near future. Um, yeah, this corner is going to be super tight. We got this. 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 We don't got this at all. You know what? It's okay. We, there's a reason we've got the 6M sitting right here, guys. We're, we're good. No, the 7810, sorry. We've got the 7810 ready to rock. It's, it's just it's strong. We could get in here, push. Come on, push. Um, um, it's, it's, I think we got this, right? Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. We got a good, good it's got a good, good, got a good purchase point there. We can keep on pushing and yeah, we'll be fine now. Totally fine. And away we go back into the field. So the TMR machine is completely full. So we need a solution now for the rest of these bales. I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to fill it up completely, uh, but it holds almost like 200 mil. It's like 1.8 million uh, farming units of silage and then a little less hay. It's like a million of hay. So the hay you can see we've got over there. Now I've got a storing solution kind of for our silage bales. Not the best, but you know what? It's nice and close to the machine. So we can kind of just come here when we need to, dump it into the machine, go back and forth, whatever. Whatever's convenient right now is what I'm worried about. I don't want to be spending all my time moving bales around. We've done enough bale work. This is this is going to be fairly straightforward and simple. If I can kind of just figure out where I need to put these bales, keep them off my field. So if I need to get in here, we can do that. Like I said, we're not trying to make money off this field anymore, but we might need to. I'm not sure about that yet. Not sure. Yeah, it's crazy to think about this. Like every one of these trailers right now, I could probably make about $120,000 at least off of this by selling the silage. But instead, we're saving it for cattle food. I know it's not not exactly the way you'd probably do things, but if you want to build the best cattle ranch on Western Wilds, this is what you got to do. This is what you got to do. Maybe um, silage might be more profitable in the long run, but it's okay. We're gonna, Cattle is where it's at. I mean... I think um, that's what the cool kids are doing at least. So, let's see if I can dump this back in here someplace. Let's see if we can get this so it's somewhat organized. Can I get that? It looks good. I like that. That looks nice. And we'll get the rest of these bales just kind of at the back. Look at this, man. This is going to look great. We're going to have all these bales just stacked up back here and ready to go. A um, little bit worried about the hay, to be honest with you. Now I'm looking at the amount of silage I have. I think uh, hay is going to be in our future next time. A little bit more hay and a little less silage making. 
just drop these bales all off and try to get it as organized as possible. Uh, not It's not too bad of a process. It's just if you get too close and, yeah, you let them all kind of connect to each other, it becomes a little interesting in the total game, just to put it that way. Perfect. Last little bunch of bales. Just drop these down here. And I think... Guys, I think we're good. I think we're good here. Okay, perfect. All right, I'm going to turn this around. We're going to leave the trailers out. Now, silage and hay, we're both good with the additive. We're good with the additive. I'm still running a bit of a problem with, well, straw. You guys, you guys know I'm not looking very good with straw right now. So I think that's something we're going to need to take care of. I mean, look at all those bales. But look at in here. We've got tons of hay. We've got tons of silage. We've got lots of additive, of course. But this one here is completely empty. We've got no straw. Ah, I need to, I need to get straw. I need to go buy some straw. Ouch, that hurt. That was a lot. That's like a, I was I, I didn't even get the money on that. It was like 120,000? Yeah, 120 some thousand in straw almost. Ouch. I don't want I don't I don't think I've ever paid that much for straw. I never paid for straw to begin with. We usually make it so much that we don't worry about it. Oh well, I guess we're buying straw for the time being. Hopefully soon we can be done with it, but I don't even know what the fields I have. If I can make enough straw to keep up with the amount of TMR I need to make. You guys saw the size of the fields. They look like they're decent size, but it's a little deceiving. I don't know if I'm going to make enough straw to fill this truck and these trailers multiple times and get like the amount of hay we're getting. Can I get that with straw? I don't even know. I've never had a problem like this before, guys. And I'm not even using the straw for bedding. I'm using the straw purely for TMR usage, and that's it. And that's the problem that I've told you guys before. If I'm missing any of the ingredients from this TMR machine, I am in trouble. Like beforehand, if I was just mixing, I could just go and mix and be fine. But I need straw now, and beforehand, I didn't. It is what it is. All right, looking pretty good. We've got everything happening. We've got over 1.1 million. Holy, that's a lot. That should last us a year at least. How much can I fit in here? How much TMR? Can this make? I have no idea. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to see. He didn't give me the specs on this. We'll have to wait and see. So TMR machine is good to go. I think. I think we're good with our amount of food. So now it's just a matter of, well, taking care of feeding the cows constantly. It's back to our daily regiment of dropping off food multiple times a day to well, our open pen. We've got our different cattle barns. We got three cattle barns now that each have anywhere between 240 to 300 cows per. And then, of course, our calving pen as well. Like, this is just going to be my daily daily event now is just taking care of the cattle. We're going to start needing to deal with our milk a little bit more. And that's something I'm going to have to figure out exactly what's going to be the best solution. I've got some ideas, guys. So stay tuned for those ideas. It's going it, to... Eh, we'll see. It should be interesting. I mean, we're just going we're gonna to stay with the theme. Things are happening. Things are going to be good. I think we can still pull this off. I think we're good to go here. I'm pretty happy with this. Got some cisterns here with some milk in them. This is where we're storing about 100,000 liters of milk in our red barn, of course. And, you know, like, we got to keep on top of this. It's nice to have these large tanks inside each of these barns. Even the blue barn, we got 100,000 over here as well. And, of course, the main barn, which is back with the original one, it's the same thing. But we did some problems. Are we going to make more than what we made from our silage? Can we make more money? Than the amount we've made from our silage. I don't know. We made a ton of money. We made like 15 million bucks off all the silage. And now we're shipping milk everywhere. Is that going to be better off? I I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see, guys. It's But today we're working on this. Like I said, we're unloading all our milk. Moving it over to our storage tanks. Because we fill this up relatively quickly. After every couple every couple days or so. We're moving milk from both these barns. All the way back over towards the old side. The original side. The cattle farm. And we need to fill that whole tank system that's up here. So we're filling this tank on up and then we'll see where we get. Now, I haven't done the math on this on whether it's going to be more profitable, less profitable than our silage. I don't know. It should be able to be sustainable at least. But like every day we got to come here. Watch out, cow. Watch out. There we go. And fill this tank up. So yeah, there's a lot more busy work in order to keep this farm operating then what we were dealing with silage. I mean, silage was was nice. There was a lot of work with that. Don't get me wrong. It was some big field work. We were out haying. We were out cutting silage every couple months. But now it's every single day. We are either feeding cows, we're cleaning cows, or we're milking cows. 
That is really what it comes down to, and it's just a lot more busy work. Will it end up paying off in the end? I don't know, guys, stick around. We're gonna find out together. It should? Maybe? I don't know, what's more profitable, silage or cattle? Silage or milk? Oh yeah, another 60,000 liters of milk from the blue barn. Take her back across, go sell this off, or not sell it off, but store this for the time being, and then drop it on in again. This is gonna be interesting. I'm not sure if we're gonna fill this up, but we got other things to do today. Yeah, of course, it's just not cattle. I mean, we have other products we need to supplement the farm other than that. And one of the things was, well, I was thinking about straw and just some general crops, of course, that we made out here. Now, both our canola and on the far side, we should have oat. They're both ready to go, guys. So we're going to have to get into this field and um, we'll start harvesting. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't really thinking I should have done, should have done canola. We shouldn't have bothered, but whatever, we're going to harvest it. I was just worried about straw. So... Get in our headers out of this. Get the old case. The only job our old case does nowadays. It's good to have still. Let's fire this thing up. And open the old garage. And pull this right on out. Let's go. Let's get these headers out into the field. Come on. Let's go. Easy does it. Like I said, the only job that we do well with the 1030. The old case open cab. This old, old iron case tractor, guys. It's its only job now. I mean, we're taking it pretty easy on it. But we still got to get out here and... um. We got, we got some work for it to do. I suppose the trick would probably be better, but whatever. It's still good for moving these headers around. It's something it can do, right? Oh, here we go. Getting the case. Combines out the 92 fitties. Let's go. Easy does it. Get these, these our brand new combines. It's Look at this. Zero hours. New combine smell still. Do you guys smell that? It's still new combine smell. Hey, what's the smell? What smell? What you... The other one's got a couple hours on it, but this is great. This is great. Brand new combines. Of course, we need our mother bin, or our sorry, our our auger wagon as well, our grain uh, our grain wagon as well. Get this thing out here so we can uh, make things a little bit more efficient. It shouldn't take us too long with two combines out in this field. We'll, it'll be done pretty quickly, I think. All right, fire these combines on up, and let's get into the field. You know what? It's been a long time on on Western Wilds. We have not done a lot of uh, grain harvesting. Of course, I think we might have done two fields, maybe one field. So any chance I get right now to get in here. And harvest some grains with the combine feels like completely different and completely it's great especially with these big 9250s we got the big floaters on these the upgraded mauer grain uh the tanks the the hoppers are upgraded of course so we got lots of space here we'll see how many times we need to uh to run the grain bin over to them to pick them up the auger we'll see if that happens that much we'll send gertie up on the far side we've got matilda we're gonna she's just jumping in with me right now we're gonna send her up on this side and then uh I'll do some grain transport back and forth here. We got the truck sitting back here. We've got our uh, our grain tank. We're good to go, guys. We're good to go. Let's go. And Matilda, I think you are ready to rock and roll here. You should be good here, right? Please tell me you're good. Guys, I, I just want to get through these fields. Like, we got other things to do. We got cattle waiting for us. I think they're good, guys. I think they're good. Let's get caught back up with our locker uh, wagon here. Let's see if we can get this Coolman bin up and caught up and start unloading. Please just... Just get the pipe over to me, please. No, 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 no. Don't put it back in. Get Come on. Get it over here. It's okay. It's okay. We got a little bit off her, but not a lot. This, this is the one I, I need to worry about. Gertie on the far side here. She's the one who's pretty much full. Need to run up quickly here and grab what I can get out of her. Come on. Easy. Easy does it. Just nice and easy. Just give me that pipe. Come on. There we go. And that looks about right. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. We're getting good. We're good. We're good. Good. So... This field, like I said, not going to take us too long. We got some 45-foot headers, the Draper headers on these combines. Shouldn't take us too long to get through this canola. And then we'll move right over into the oat. All right, here comes Matilda. She's already done her couple passes as well. She'll be uh, maybe half full? I don't even know. Can't even tell from here. So we'll just take whatever she's got and we'll just keep running the way we are. Things seem to be working out so far. Oh, yeah, here we go. Looks good. Oh, 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 oh. Get back on track. There we go. Yeah, come on, come on, you can, there we go. Oh, I'm a little short. Come on, push further. There we go. All right, so, Gulliman Bin, we got, should have enough room. We got half full so far. I think by the time we do our, our laps of this field, they're only about half full. They could probably make another pass before I catch back up. We'll see here, because I've got to go unload now anyways. So, we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully, I can do this nice and quick. And, come on, let's go. Oh, there we go. It should be all right. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's unload all this and get caught back up to them. See, she's going to be spinning around right there. If I time this right, guys, we can just kind of fly through this field. No stopping, no fuss, no muss. 
just getting this canola off this field it should be good i think we're i think we're making good time on this one look at this only like an, it's been like half an hour it's been half an hour we had to set things up and we had to get in the field and we're almost done the first field already this is uh pretty good timing so far i think we're gonna get through this pretty darn quick pretty darn quick one of the last loads right now we're gonna stop gertie here in a second i'm gonna send her over to go take care of the hoat we'll finish off uh with matilda in the uh the canola here all right gertie get in there go take care of the oat for me while we finish off our canola quickly looks good that there should about do it guys yeah this field canola field is done so canola field's done like i said this is just a cash crop i didn't really think that through but whatever we're good it's fine this is what i'm talking about we need the straw from our oat field this is what i should have been thinking the whole time through and now well at least we're gonna get that we're gonna get the money off the oat if we do need it we still don't have horses, so I don't really have a use for the oat yet, but whatever. We've got a ton of straw, hopefully. I don't know how much this is going to be, guys. Is this going to be enough for all the TMR I'm making from our TMR machine? That's the whole point of us doing the straw. Really, I need to. I need all these fields. I really need to think this through, but we need these fields to all produce straw for us so that we can make more TMR. I do not want to buy straw anymore. We spent $45,000 on straw alone in the last like six months. I gotta quit buying straw. I hate buying straw. All right, canola is off that field. That's while we're waiting, we can take the truck back and unload and hopefully dump all of this off into our silo. We'll see if we ever need the money for this. We've got so much money from our silage and from hopefully our milk that maybe we won't even need to ever deal with this. It's just really the straw is where I'm at now. Let's dump. Oh, she's full. She is super full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, spin it around. All right, we're doing it. No rest for the wicked. We're managed to keep everybody moving without stopping right now. And that's kind of the goal so we can move along quickly through today. But Oats coming off the field. Got a couple more passes left to go. And uh, we'll be able to unload everything into our silo and move back to our cattle again. Let's be honest. The cattle's really where I'm at right now. We need to get this bailed still, of course, today. But we got rain in the forecast. And I was kind of worried we weren't going to get this field off in time. But things are looking up right now. Back over with the truck. I managed to time that just perfectly to keep everybody moving. Moving and grooving. And we'll unload this thing. Look at We got one harvester already pulled off to the side. We got our chaser bin ready to rock there. And it looks like Matilda has got one more pass left to go. And she'll be done. So let's just open this up. Drain everything in. Oh, we got a double dump going even. Even got the double dump. I, I kind of planned that out. Yeah, kind of planned that out just a little bit. But we got lots of straw. Looks like we're going to be good to go here, guys. Perfect. Let's get our baler. We'll grab that with the Massey. Massey's got a few hours on it. Could use some fuel, but I think we can get through. Yeah, I think we're going to be good. We got the Massey. We got our, our Vicon fast baler. Of course, we're not going to be wrapping, so it should drop pretty quick. In fact, this baler might have had an extra little modification. You know, we're all about the realism-ish around here. All about the realism. All about it. So let's get into this field and uh, we'll see if we can get the straw off before it rains. See if we can get everything bailed up. I wouldn't mind just slapping this right into our TMR machine. I know I think I think our TMR machine's got room for quite a bit of straw right now. Let's oh didn't connect our PTO. That's part of the problem. There we go. And now it should work a little bit better. It's funny. It's uh, how that affects things. <laughs> you wouldn't wouldn't have thought it, right? All right, let's go. Start making some bales. And like I said. It's got a slight modification to this baler, guys. It does, uh, it likes to pop the bales up pretty quick. There we go. <laughs> it's working just the way I expected it to. You know what? It makes, it allows us to harvest this field pretty quick for a round baler, especially. It's kind of funny. We've spent so much time in this tractor over the last couple seasons that I'm so used to it. But in the last like two or three seasons since we've moved over to the $10 million ranch, we haven't had a lot of use for this tractor anymore. This tractor doesn't get nearly as much use anymore. And it's kind of just sitting there, so it's kind of fun to get back into it and just do some straight bailing, because this is what we use this thing for pretty much predominantly for the first couple seasons, guys. And then, there we go. Enough of our straw has been bailed. I think uh, that looks like a decent amount out there. That looks like a decent amount. How much is that going to give us for our TMR machine? That's really going to be the question of the day, isn't it? Let's get our truck out. You know what? Same system. We got our... Our, our road train. Road train! We're going to go load this thing on up. We're going to get all the bales on this. I think we should be able to fit every single last bale on this system if I can fit through. Grab all the last couple bales. Totally, totally realistic. 100% realism-ish right now. <laughs> Let's go dump these back into our TMR machine. 
I think we should be okay. We didn't quite fill the last trailer. The last trailer was empty. The third trailer's got most of the bales on it. So we'll just dump them all in. Hopefully we can fit everything in here. Just dump last little bit. Come on, get into the machine, please. Oh, darn it. Such a pain. Get in there. Last bale. Please, one more bale. There we go. There we go. And let's pull forward. Grab uh, the second trailer. Like I said, three trailers pretty much full of bales. And that filled it up. So we still had some straw in there. But this will at least alleviate me from buying more straw bales. We've got hay. We've got silage. We should be good for now. Clean everything up. And uh, guys, I think that is going to be it for well, at least harvesting. Uh, I'm going to get back out here and clean these fields up, though. Everything's done in here. Cleaned up. Just the field work now. So we'll take the case out. We've got lime in our spreader. And let's go lime these things. Get those environmental scores up. Full of lime. Don't need to fill this up. We fill this up. Usually, I'm pretty good about filling all of these, these pieces of apparatus up as we park them over here. So both the lime and that solid fertilizer, we just fill that up every single time we park it. And I don't need to deal with it when we go grab it and I don't have to think about it, which is kind of nice. So we'll just go in here. I'm not going to fertilize, though. We're just going to lime. A lot of the times what I've been doing is following right behind with the fertilizer as well. I'm going to lime. We've got the uh, the Vatterstad. We've got the Seed Hawk. Sorry, the Seed Hawk that does do uh, nitrogen as well. So we'll use that to fertilize. We're not going to fertilize before we uh, we get ready to plant. We're just gonna we're just gonna get this field prepped today. We can't plant today anyways. That's gonna have to happen tomorrow, guys. So today we're just doing some field prep work and making sure everything is good to go for the next couple of days. Look at that. Already uh, already done. Doesn't take much time when you really set your mind to things, right? Oh, and then back to, to more cattle work. This is my life though, guys. If we're not doing a little bit of harvesting, the harvesting breaks things up. But most of my days and nights are spent in the field with our cows. I, I need to come up with more names for all of our cows. I mean, we do have like 1,300 head of cattle now. Just seriously. I live with these cows day in, day out, feeding cows. Oh, man. It is It's becoming a lot. <laughs> Back and forth through the TMR machine, feeding cattle. It's a good thing we can feed them fairly quickly. I need to find a way to make this more efficient, and I just don't know what I'm going to do yet. It does work. But, man... It's just a lot of back and forth with our cattle. Oh, guys, eat this TMR. Please slow down. No, you're not going to slow down. You're going to make me run back and forth constantly. Okay. You know what? It's funny. The, the larger cattle sheds, not so bad. I mean, once a day. Even the, even the calfing pen, we only got, what, 45 head, if you include the calves over here. Not so bad. We can get through this relatively easily. Once a day, I just have to come by here, drop a little bit of TMR, and they're fine. They're happy. They're not going to complain. Unfortunately, open cattle pasture does not have enough food for what they're doing. I don't know why they just can't eat the grass in the field. I wish I could have done that. That cattle pasture is causing me a little bit of grief. I got to be in there at least twice a day. Twice a day. These guys here, once a day. I come in here first thing in the morning. I feed them. They're happy. Take a look at our milk levels and we go from there. But the open cattle pasture, man, that pasture gives me so much grief. Like here, I am in here every single day, twice a day. First thing in the morning, last thing in the night. Water. Oh, man, TMR. See, this is, all, this is my life, guys. I swear. All I'm doing is feeding cows day in, day out. <sighs> Remember the days when we used to just do silage? Yeah, Pepperidge Farms remembers those days. Pepperidge Farms remembers. Yep. I mean, we've traded our cows, our silage in for cows. Whatever. It's a plan. And we needed something different. We diversify, right? But I mean, look at all these silage bales here. And I could make a cut right now as well and probably double that. I could probably make $5 million today, maybe? If I wanted to go and do the whole cut and maybe not. Anyways, this is my life now. It's fine. It's totally fine. It's just a lot more. I think it's a lot more work. It feels like more work to me. But can it make us more money? That's the question. Guys, I'm just thankful for this TMR machine. I wouldn't want to be using bales right now. All right, let's get back to work. Another month is coming gone. It's time to get back at her, guys. Like I said, planting season's here now. So the fields that we all had harvested, we've prepped everything, right? We're good to go in there. We're taking the quad track out. We're going to go do some uh, some planting. It's planting season. Now, we got the seed hawk. Should be good to go. Let's get this thing fired up. Connect everything on in. Grab that. Grab our hoses. Perfect. And out we go. Now... We are full, guys. Like I said, we put this away absolutely full to the brim. 
what are we going to do today? Now, I've got three fields out here, technically, that we've made. And now I'm starting to kind of think through my head about what we're going to be doing. Like I said, we're trying to do everything for cattle. So why am I doing these cash crops? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense. What is wrong with me? Let's not do that this time. Tell you what, let's just take uh, some barley. Let's do barley. We'll do barley. And we're going to do it across all three of the fields. I know I've got breaks in the fields. They're, they're, well, they're roadways. I think of them as roadways so we can cart, right? So we're going to plant all barley all the time now. Well, not all the time. At least this harvest, this planting season, it's all barley. Yeah, I, I don't, don't just get those heads up. Oh, watch out bushes. Ooh, that's not good for it, but hey, it's fine. It'll be fine. Like I said, all barley all the time across all these three fields. Ooh, this is going to be a little bit interesting in the nitrogen department over on this side here. Let's spin it around, and we'll go all the way back on down. Now, the very first field, guys, I don't think I've planted that field first. I had a different plan for that field, and I think we prepped it beforehand, so it would be good to go once we decided to plant it, and I never did end up planting it. I think I missed that one, where these other two fields, we obviously did canola and oat, and I think I was going to do, like, beans or something on that first field. Never got around to it. But now, once we've had enough time to think about this, how about we just plant one crop. Keep it simple, stupid. Let's not be overly creative here. Let's just get through these fields, plant them all with something that's simple, and we don't need to mess around and unload trailers halfway through a harvest, and it all comes due at the same time. It's, it's a big field. Yeah, I mean, look at it. It's a, it's a big field. But whatever. We've got the equipment now. It's going to be one day per year. We're going to be out here. It'll be fine. It will be fine. And plus, then everything's on the same time. Frame. I hate that, to be honest with you. That's one reason I wouldn't want to do this. I don't want to do everything on the same time frame. <sighs> Whatever. It's okay. Yeah, now I'm arguing with myself. I know. Anyways, we got through this, I think, guys. I, th I was worried about the nitrogen. I was worried about the nitrogen, but I think we're going to be okay. Like, we've gone through one full, uh, one of the full of the, of the, the hoppers of seed. The nitrogen's down a little bit. We've got, what, 10, we'll be down to about 10% on, a little under 10% on our seed totally. It's going to be fine. We're, it looks like we got enough. We only got the last little bit here to uh, to plant. You know, like I said, I'm not a fan of having the whole field only happen once a year. If I wasn't just focused on cattle, if we weren't so focused on making that $10 million in cattle, I probably wouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now. In fact, I guarantee you I wouldn't be. But our focus has to be on the cows. Because doing the math right now, the mental gymnastics in my head on the amount we've made. I mean, we've made $1 million so far in one year on our cattle. we got to make 10 in 5. I'm not sure how it's going to work out yet. The math still isn't quite there. And we're going to have to talk about that hopefully shortly. All right. Let's go roll this field out as well. Like I said, we might as well make sure we're making the absolute most we can for the straw at least. Uh, I don't know if rolling helps out with our straw. I'm assuming it does because it helps yield should fix that and plus we want that environmental score as well and as well the cattle the milk that also has an environmental score did, did you know that i didn't know that so anyways our cattle our milk has an environmental score as well so we probably should focus and make sure we're maximizing our environmental score wherever we can so we'll roll this field out and make sure we get that as high as we can uh get our yield up as high as we can as well so we get the maximum maximum amount of straw off this so hopefully i no longer ever have to go out and buy straw. Buying straw has got to be the worst. Seriously, I don't think I've ever had to buy straw before. And here we are. We just have too many cows, I guess. And we're not we're not thinking this through enough. Anyways, we'll get through this. Let's roll this field. Ooh, that looks good. That's satisfying. I like that. Look at those crisp lines from rolling this field out. Whoa, you know what? We're not done this either, guys. This is just the start of our field work. We'll get this done today. And hopefully by next month, we can come back out and we'll spray because it's going to need that as well. We're going to have some weeds. We didn't really have to worry about the weeds with our silage in our hand, which is kind of nice. But I'm thinking obviously with this crop right here, weeds are going to be a thing and we're going to need to deal with them. Wow, but whatever. Well, we got time now. We're going into winter. Just managed to take care of all our cows, but we got to roll. And then hopefully next month we can get in here and spray. Should be fine. It'll be fine. All right, September has come and gone. Look at look at the crops out here, guys. October's here. We've already got that barley field. That large barley field we just planted. It's already coming up. 
Fantastic. So let's finish off what we talked about. I do need to spray that field now. Um, but we took care of our cattle first thing again. Like I said, first thing every single day. Cows, feed, water, check our milk levels every single day. I've got to take care of that. Otherwise, we run into problems and we're going to be losing profit. And that's where I'm focused on. So that's done for the day already. Let's just fill this back up so it's ready to go. We'll be good to go for probably this afternoon because I'll have to feed some more cows in a bit. Let's disconnect the uh, let's disconnect the feed mixer. And we're going to worry about spraying. We got to go spray that field. Like I said, we got weeds. We got weeds and nobody nobody likes the weeds in there. So let's go take care of them. We got our spot and spray, our John Deere spot and spray back here. Really going to cost us next to nothing. Thankfully, if we use like 200 liters of, of uh, herbicide, I'll be impressed. Connect this bad boy on in. Connect our wiring. Is that already connected? Huh. Huh, I guess it's already connected. Do I not have to connect this? I guess not. Oh, well, well, if it has to be connected, we'll figure it out in the field. Oh, watch out for the, watch out for the barn. All right, out in the field. Let's see if this actually works. That didn't allow me to connect properly there. The spot and spray should work we've got everything hooked up properly i think let's turn this thing on and uh we'll see how how well this does i think it's i don't think it needs to be connected there's no hydraulics on this i guess or at least the ones that i can connect no nope, we're good all right spot and spray activated let's go kill some weeds we got a few weeds to kill here you know what whatever one pass this is all going to help out our environmental rating guys and it's going to maximize our profits on both well not only our oat probably give us more straw but also, the milk, because as long as we keep our environmental rating up, it's going to keep giving us extra money when we sell our milk off, which, once again, is looking a little tight right now. I, I mean, I don't want to give you numbers off the top of my head right now. We, I need to sit down and really math this out and figure out if this is going to be possible at all. Are we going to be able to make that $10 million in five years? Technically, okay, it's $9 million in four years technically now, but who's counting? All right, last little pass here as we climb, finally get through the back of this, this big field. This one's going to be an interesting, this will be a fun one to harvest, actually. It's nice and flat. It's big, it's open, and, uh, well, it's weed-free now, so it's just going to be a big old barley field. That's going to make us some decent decent amount of straw, I think. I think this should be enough. Fingers crossed. I don't, I don't know. I hope it is. I really do. Better get some fuel on the way back, actually. The old John Deere. We've been uh, running this thing a little ragged. There we go. And I think we can put this all away now. I think we're good. Back to cows. Back to cows. Back to... You know what? I'd rather clean things than deal with cows right now. Not gonna lie. I'm getting a little sick of dealing with the cattle. So let's keep on just um, finding some other... Can I procrastinate anymore? Can I... Is there anything else that I can clean? Man, is there anything else I can do? <laughs> Get back to work! Oh, there's so much feeding. So much feeding. Never mind. I guess it's time we get back to feeding. What can I say? Yep, back into the cow barn. Back to feeding again, holy. All right guys, so there's a bit of a problem I didn't tell you guys about. Back in January, prices for milk were probably the best they've been, but I thought I could wait out and wait for a great demand. I, I missed my timing and I needed to buy another tank that you just saw behind us there that's gonna supplement because we don't have enough room. And also, I don't want to drive with this truck, so I bought something new. I bought something new and better. Yeah, that's right. We've got a TLX with a brand new milk tanker on the back of this. A milk cistern, milk tank. I don't know. Anyways, it's uh, a new technology. It's still realistic-ish. It's just, um, it holds like four times more than uh, our current setup, which is going to help us transport our, all our milk to, uh, to the sale because... I'm not doing it with the other one that's going to take me about 20 trips back and forth. This one is still going to take a number of trips, but it's a little bit more reasonable. You know what? It's new technology, guys. I'd explain all how it works, but it's really confusing. You don't want to, you don't want them to know the science behind it. It just does it. It holds a, a, like 250,000 liters of, uh, of milk over six. So it's like four or five times more, maybe almost six. Anyways, don't worry about it. It just does a great thing. And this new technology is awesome. I don't know how it compresses liquid, but it does it. So don't worry about it. All the way back out, it's time to get to sale. Like I said, I missed my window on the best sale time for the milk, and I actually ended up having to buy another whole storage tank for it. Wasn't thinking that through. I mean, we're still making good money, but it's roughly like four to $500 less per thousand liters right now. 
than what it was when it was at its high price. Now, the reason why I thought it was like this, I'm don't get me wrong. Oh, that's good money. Don't get me wrong. I had a plan that it was going to make it back up to whatever the, the number was. I can't remember how much it was off the top of my head now. It was like 2,400 liters per thousand. I thought it would make it back up to that again come the high price of the year, and it just didn't do it. And I thought maybe, maybe I'll get lucky. I'll wait one more month. I'll get lucky with a high demand. And that didn't happen either. So instead, I'm losing money now when I'm trying to sell my milk off by comparison to what I would have had back in whatever. It is what it is. You know what? It's too late. You can't complain now, can you? You made a mistake and you got to fix it. And the, you know what? I, I bought the TLX. It's kind of helping me cope with my anger now. It's we got a brand new nice looking truck. We got a new trailer. Eh, not bad. So let's see what we get out of this. I think that is the last of our milk, guys. This is it right here. This is the end of it. Oh, boy. Survey says survey says you know what we didn't do too bad if the math in my head looks looks like we did roughly 3.5 million dollars total 3.5 after selling some cattle we sold off a little bit of cattle there we go that's the end right there 3.5 million ish total we made from our milk and our cows this this past year so we've got three more years left we have roughly six million bucks to make we should be able to do it the math makes sense we can make our goal of 10 million in five years with milk. Guess what? There's great demand for milk. So let's start off with that because it's right now, it's happening right now. I'm filling the truck up. We're heading out, we're getting the milk because we gotta sell this stuff off whenever we can. Now, like I said, it's something we're gonna have to deal with from time to time. I try to stay and wait until there's either a great demand or we do it like once a year during the high time. Now prices are good right now. I think it's 28, 2900 bucks per thousand liters of milk, which is, Really good. I mean, we sold last time at a lot less than that because I waited too long and I kind of sewered myself. This time, I think we're going to be in business, guys. I think we're going to be in business. This is a lot better sale price. I think it's another almost $800 more per thousand liters. So that's like a third more. That's that's def definitely reasonable. So we're going to sell off the milk. I've got roughly, well, you got 250,000 liters right now. I still got a little bit more at the farm. I'm going to leave that there. I'm not going to make another trip. It's only maybe 30,000 liters ish, maybe 25, somewhere in there. Not worried about it. Let's just sell what we've got right now. Watch out, dear. Hey, man, I'm walking here. I'm walking here. Holy shnikes. That was close. We're going to sell off what we've got, make this money, and uh, see what our totals are at. Guys, we're coming up about halfway through this five year plan to make 10 million bucks. So if we could come close to getting to. You know, five million dollars, somewhere in that range. We should be close right now, though. Let's uh, let's just pull on in, sell this off. Oh, there she goes. Like I said, we need another another million bucks, a little under a million bucks, a little under. Come on, give me that. Come on, keep coming, keep going, keep going. Oh, guys, we needed. Okay, good, good, good. Environmental score is what's pushing me up to that level. Like I said, I needed, I wanted to get close to a million bucks, so we're sitting a little over five hundred or five million dollars of pure profit right now on the farm. Uh, that's not bad for cattle, but now it's time we start worrying about feeding these guys because, guys, I don't have any hit more hay, but we've got a large field and lots of room to go get some hay, so we might as well do that. We've got the John Deere setup, ready to rock. 7810 with a tether, good to go. Our Massey 8S with this giant crone rake. Our John Deere 7R with our slightly, just barely modified Vicon pass baler. And then to finish it off, we got the old Kenworth with four auto load flat deck trailers. Can hold 136 bales. So we got everybody set up. We've got what? Four, four boys helping us out on this. A hey, five? Four, five? We can do this in one shot. We can do this in one shot. There's, it's only one chance for glory. You know, I think we can get through this this big hay field one shot. Time to do it right now. We're gonna get through it all. Get all the hay we possibly can. You know what? You know what, guys? You know what's gonna happen, right? You know what time it is. I think it's time we bring out the best driver in farm sim. That's right, you, that's what we're doing it right now. It's time. We're bringing out the best driver in farm sim. Let's go. Let's go.
There is our first load, 136 bales, right into our TMR machine. Drop it in. Another load. That's another full load of bales. I don't think we have enough room anymore. Nope, just drop them in. Finish it off. We're gonna have so many bales. So many bales. Of course, we're running low on fuel on everything. We've been in the field all day, so we better go fuel everything up. It's about time. Let's get back out there, out to the field. We've got the, the mower, the tether, the rake, the baler, and even the truck. Fill them all up. Let's get back at it. Let's do the end of another successful hand harvest. Guys, we got a ton of bales. Everything's back, stored back here. We've got pretty much everything here. I've got to go dump off this last load of bales. There's not too many here. We got two truckloads or two trailer fulls. We'll dump this off. I'm running out of storage space, though, to be perfectly honest. We don't have a lot of storage space left here. And I mean, we've, we've stored a lot of bales here in the past, but the nice thing is beforehand, it was all silage bales. Now I've got, well, I got straw, I got hay. I've got everything over here now, and it's kind of a pain to get into it without grabbing the wrong bales, if you know what I mean. So we'll store everything in here for now. We may have to find another solution for our bales at some point in the very near future. But I think for now, I'm going to leave them like this. Yeah, we'll just kind of stack it in front of the straw, I think. Yeah, this last load can go right in front of the straw. And I'll try not to grab any of the straw when we come back and have to load in the machine. I, I think we'll be okay. Now, the funny thing is... I don't have enough straw. I really don't think I have enough straw. I think soon as we hit the winter, we're going to be running low on straw already. That's only like one truckload full of straw left over, guys. We're, we're running a little low on the straw side, even silage, but I only hayed about two thirds of that field. So I can turn the other third into silage if I need to. If I need to. I'm not doing it today. If I need to. This is kind of the grandmaster big brain maneuver big giant brain maneuver right now we're leaving it it's like ready to go in case we need it i don't want to have to do it if i don't have to because we're not making money off this is just for food if i need i don't need the money i got eight million dollars what do i need money for we're good so that's taking care of our food situation at least for the timing i should mention tmr machine completely full absolutely jam-packed to the rafters pretty much all the goods are good in there from hay straw uh silage and mineral feed are all fantastic Look at this, this is ridiculous. How many freaking bales did I make? Oh, whose idea was this? Really? Did I really need to make this many? Is this, are we ever gonna get through this? This feels like there's a mountain of freaking bales here, man. It's a mountain of freaking bales. Come on. Guys, I know I should really clean up some of this stuff, but I got other plans. Cleaning is, cleaning's for, we'll get dirty to the cleaning. We're not dealing with the cleaning right now. I'm gonna deal with that later on. We're going to jump in the case and go for a cruise here. I got a plan. I've got a plan. You guys are going to like this. I think you guys are going to like this. This is... I'm trying to find new ways. Ooh, watch out, pups. Get out of the... Holy shnikes. That was way too close. Guys, what I'm trying to do is find new ways to, well, make the farm bigger, but also make things more efficient. You guys know I'm all about the efficiency on this farm. So let me get this hooked up. And we're going to head over to well, our green fields. And I bought a ton. We've got a bunch of new property out here. We've got a lot of new property. And, well, we're doubling the size of things. I mean, 
this whole area is mined. Everything over this side, you can see that's the old farm fields on that side. And behind us and up to the north here is the new field. And look what we got now. That's right, an automated sprayer, a pivot. We've got a pivot to spray all this out with. Um, this thing is absolutely massive. And I'm not sure how well it's going to work yet. I mean, we're about a million bucks into debt now. Not into debt, but we paid a million bucks for this. So I'm hoping it pays for itself with efficiency, right? I mean, that's the key. Now, I need to make the feel for this, guys. We've got this massive pivot out in the middle of this ground, this land, open land. It's time we uh, we dived into this and started well, making some money off this side of things. Potentially, maybe we can get ready for it. I think I think this is going to work just fine. Let's test this out. But I need to make... I need to make a field over here. I need to follow this around, figure out what the circumference is. I could probably just mark this out, but that sounds like it might be too easy. I don't know. Holy, um, guys, I'm, I'm doing what, 33 miles an hour? I'm having a tough time keeping up with the end. It didn't look like it was moving that fast in the front, but isn't that funny how circles work? <laughs> but look how fast it's going out here. This thing's just a ripping. I'm trying to use this as a marker on how far out I need to be to build this field. Uh, I guess we're like way out here somewhere about right here i think it's actually going to run into my other grain field a little bit but that's not the end of the world i'll probably just stop this field right here and then we'll head up to the top okay this is kind of crazy look how fast this thing's going 24 miles an hour the end is doing 24 miles per hour oh well we're doing all right keep on trucking around here just gonna keep on doing some circles and we're gonna plow this all up this is gonna be a brand new brand new massive field and what's better than the rectangular fields guys do you know what what's better than rectangular fields that's right it's circle fields circular fields are the new the new thing all the cool kids are doing circular fields now just in case you were or and um it works pretty well with the pivot so we can do both of course fertilizing we can do spray fertilizing we can also do the herbicide as well we can't do the spot i don't think uh that's something we still need to test but there's no spot herbiciding or spot and spray spray and spot spot and spray spot and see whatever you want to call it it does not do that just food for thought so yeah and then of course well we still have lots and lots of plowing i should really invest in a bigger plow guys <laughs> this is taking for freaking ever uh you know what we've got this small case plow the eco till it's doing the job it does it pretty quickly but it's just a little on the small side it's not usual for me i usually kind of go overkill on this farm but for now as you kind of work our way up and around the green spot where the storage area will be it's taken its sweet, sweet time. It's just a little, a little small. This field is actually going to be bigger than, well, all three of the other fields we've made. It's, it's probably equivalent, very close to the size of the hay field we did this morning. I mean, we just have to get around. This is going to be an interesting one to kind of harvest, to be honest with you. I'm not sure how this is going to work yet, but uh, with a couple of harvesters in here, hopefully we can find some workers that know their way around this that aren't going to run into that pivot. That's going to be a thing that we don't have to deal with should be fine right i'm sure guys i'm sure gertie will be fine with it but that, that that pivot's gonna get hit for sure yeah it's definitely gonna be hit all right we're gonna wrap this around i've got a few more passes left to do and i'll catch up with you as soon as this gets done but ground's looking decent we've got some rocks showing up i'm not gonna worry about that too too much i don't think no nah, i think we're good i think we're good so we'll just finish off plowing this last little bit up here and I think from here, guys, we might be able to run some tests with this pivot. If it, maybe I can get some some uh, water into it, or maybe, ah, you know what, we've got fertilizer. We might look at some fertilizer. We'll start treating this ground. I need to lime it still, too. We're going to start to treat this ground and get this prep. We've got another month or so before everything gets planted, but we're going to be planting this the same time we plant the other fields, and everything will get done at the same time. All right, let's fill it on up with a little bit of fertilizer. We're not going to put a full load, because this holds a ton of milk. Um, huh. I don't think they're going to mind, right? It's just, you know what? We're not putting very much in. You'll never notice the fertilizer and the milk. It's kind of, it's fine. It's fine. No one's ever going to notice the thing, guys. It'll be totally fine. It'll be totally fine. All right, let's back this on up. Let's uh, drop this in. Now, I didn't see how much we have to put into this. And I, I think you can actually put some herbicide and fertilizer. Potentially, there's dual tanks on it. So we could probably do both, but I think I'm going to fill them both with fertilizer for now. And we'll see where we go with this. It might work with both. It might not. We're going to test this out. We're going to see what happens. Drag this open. We've got our pump on. All right, guys. Let's fill this on up, shall we? Perfect. Uh, looks like we've got a pretty much full tank over there. 
And that one's empty. Um, okay. Well, that's fine. Let's uh, just leave the truck over here. And we can turn this thing on. Well, everything's pumping, guys. I mean, I, I don't know what else to expect, I guess. But it, it seems like it's working. Yeah, that looks great. This is going to be fan. Oh, this is going to be so good. So I won't have to come out here and fertilize or probably even pesticide or herbicide later on. I always say pesticide, not herbicide. You know what I mean? I mean herbicide. If I say pesticide, I mean herbicide. Just so you guys know. Um, it's going to hit my truck. I better move this thing out of the way. Don't want that to happen. Let's just get the truck out of the field for now. And we don't need to worry about this thing because that's all I need is to hit my truck. And we filled the second tank up as well. So we've got both tanks are full now. Let's give this thing a shot. We're going to let it do a full round. And we'll see how this works out. Oh, look at this. This is perfect. Okay, it's a little bit slower when it's spraying. So the mode we had on before when we were testing to make sure that our sizes were good, it's not the same. The spray, the size when it's spraying definitely is not, what, 27, 26 miles an hour at the tip. It's not quite that fast. And I don't know what our speed is, but at the tip, it's um, it's definitely not the 26 miles an hour. We're trying to chase it down with a tractor. That's That's more reasonable. That's reasonable. So there we go. We're fertilizing right now. Spraying the ground already. So maybe I should have pesticide first, but there's no weeds yet. You know what? We're good. We'll wait until after we plant. But this is we'll let it do one full round and we'll see if that'll at least treat our ground. We got both of our tanks already losing some off this first tank. That's what we're going to have to keep an eye on, I guess, and see how much we use for one full spray. Like I said, I'm not worried about the money. I wouldn't waste the money on this otherwise, but we're good for now. Look at the size of this thing. This thing is awesome. I'm impressed. This is awesome, guys. This is this might make my life easier. It might not. I don't know yet. We're going to have to mess with this. And really, time's going to be the one to tell, I guess, on, on that front. But one thing is for certain is this is a fairly good sized field. This is a big field. This is a big field. And I don't think there's a, a more efficient way, a cheaper way for us to, to fertilize and spray and, uh, and herbicide this. I think this might be the best deal going. This thing is actually pretty cool. This is actually very nice, and I think this is going to make my life that much easier. Well, guys, the 10-year, $10 million Western Wilds cattle ranch is coming together. If you guys remember, we started off with absolutely nothing. We started from scratch with an old case, 1030, and, uh, well, we managed to make $10 million within five years doing silage bales. How did that happen? By the way, I should probably say that uh, maybe me and this guy... You know what we got? I just need to grow a little bit more facial hair, I think, and I could probably um, I think I can pull that off. Then I, I don't quite have. You know what? We haven't changed. Well, he's got the fancy new sunglasses, and that's really the only thing that's changed for him. But I, I digress. We started this farm off, guys, with a plan to make ten million dollars within ten years. It was going to be a ten-year goal to make ten million bucks on this farm, and we blew this out of the water in five years, which is kind of ridiculous. Now. Typically, we would go with a logging route to start things off, right? You cut some trees down, decent money. We decided to change things up on this one, and we went silage. Now, spoiler alert, we blew that out of the water within five years. We made our first $10 million in five years, which allowed us then to build this massive cattle ranch, the ultimate $10 million cattle ranch here on Western Wilds. Man, what a fun build this was. And once we wrapped that build up, guys, we changed our direction a little bit. Instead of worrying about the $10 million from silage now, since we'd already done it, we decided, well, we were going to make 10 million bucks from milk. Well, not necessarily just milk, but cattle. $10 million in cattle. And we wanted to do that in the five years we had remaining in our 10-year plan. So that meant, well, we had to build more. We had the one cattle area. We had one cattle barn. We had our calving barn. And as well, we also had the open pasture. But that wasn't going to be enough. From, well, the first year, we realized that we just didn't have enough cows. So... What do we do, of course? Well, we expanded, we biggered, we bettered, and we kind of overkilled it once again. That's right, we added two more cattle barns, which actually allowed us to have over a, a thousand head. A thousand head of cattle on this farm. And that's really how we've gotten to where we are today. So we've got over a thousand head. We're pushing towards that elusive $10 million in cattle profits. Now guys, I have to admit, the cattle work has not always been easy. In fact, it's been a lot more difficult than our silage work we're out in these fields we're making fields we're out working these fields a lot more it seems like versus just well hand and cutting grass for silage this is a lot more work not that i'm complaining but we have been out in these fields now now this field right here is our massive round field that's being serviced by our pivot that kind of works kind of doesn't but 
It's a massive brown field. This is our biggest field by far. And you know what? We It's planted. We just need to get it rolled out. We're trying to maximize our environmental score. Now, I should say this as well. The environmental score, since we're precision farming, of course. Guys, you, you got to make sure you push this because this is the only way we're going to make this, this magical $10 million mark. The precision farming environmental score also correlates over to the milk from our cows. So if we're not feeding our cows the, the maximum environmental score crops, then they're not going to get the proper environmental score for the milk, which ends up being possibly like a $10 to $20,000 bonus per load of milk, which is kind of ridiculous. So the, the TMR we've been making, guys, it's all from crops that we've really put a lot of work into, and it's uh, it, the environmental score is through the roof, almost at 100% here with the prison farming. But this really ends up being our day, guys. It is taking care of our crops, making sure they're good to go, and then going around and feeding all of these barns day in and day out. Feeding these cows because there's just so many of them. It takes it twice a day. And then back into our fields, make sure we take care of this as well. And once again, like I said, we have this spot and spray uh, herbicide right now to make sure that we maximize, absolutely maximize, how much we're going to be making from precision farming with the environmental score if we didn't do this guys we'd be losing we're leaving money on the table if we do it this way if we don't do it this way we got to do it this way do it right maximize the amount of money we're going to make with precision farming of course now since we're only really worried about our profits from cattle these crops guys i don't really care what's on them the only requirement that we have on these crops is that well they produce straw and I'm not even sure. Is there certain crops that produce more straw? We're planting wheat and barley. Actually, barley over here, wheat in that direction. That's what we're planting right now. And that's what we have growing on these crops. I don't know if one does better than the other. I wouldn't mind doing some oat. But we're focusing on wheat and barley. All I am worried about is straw for our TMR. And like I said, typically if we just did TMR using the standard mixer without the TMR machine, we wouldn't need to worry about straw. We could really just deal with just uh, silage and, of course, hay. But since we have the machine, we do need to do straw as well. That being said, the TMR machine itself, it's stocked right now. We are full. We've got like 3 million liters of TMR in this thing. Now, we are slowly starting to run out of some product to put in. We've got tons of hay, but silage, silage is going to be a problem pretty quick, as well as our straw. So I'm hoping that we can make it to harvest season here relatively quickly because... Because I don't have too much straw. You can see back there, there's not much straw left. But silage is also going to be a problem as we fill the rest of this machine up. Look at it, We've got like two more two more rows a little bit. Maybe one load of, of, of silage left over. But the hay, we've got so much hay. It takes double the amount of silage in this TMR machine versus hay and straw. So I, I do need to make sure that I'm on top of this silage. In fact, we're going to need to probably harvest some of this soon if we decide... That's what we need to do. Like I said, I'm going to be out of this silage before too long here, guys. This is pretty much the end of it right now. That's, like I said, 2 million liters of silage does, does last a while. But we are feeding a lot of cows right now. And me dumping all this silage in here, it tends to go through it relatively quickly. You guys have seen how much silage we've had lined up back there. That's another thing. We should probably consider a better way of storing all these bales. There's some things that did work on this farm, some that did not. We have the massive barn on the backside by the old cattle area, and I'm not using that for anything anymore. I would like to use it for bales, and we did use that when we were mixing, of course, but now we've kind of moved on, and we're doing all of our all of our, our work for our feed is all done up in this section here now. And for me to go back there and deal with anything, it's just not going to happen. So we're dropping all our bales in. Drop them off this trailer. Please, just unload, please. Thank you. And we'll get our last trailer unloaded here and fill this machine right on up. This should pretty much, we should be able to fill the machine and be good to go for at least a couple of days before we need to start really thinking about uh, going and harvesting more grass and silage and, and worrying about our straw. Now we've done the math. We're doing all right, guys. We're about 2 million shy of the $10 million goal. Oh, look at our bales. If I could just sell the bales off, we could be there, but we're making the TMR for the cattle, of course. So 2 million shy is what we are right now. Now, we just had calves. Calves are being born right now in December. We got 250 new calves on the farm. 250. So roughly a quarter of our farm we're turning over. Now, it's kind of a delicate balance when we're selling the cattle as well because, of course, 
you want to have you want to have mature cows that can of course get more calves and make milk because the calves when you just have calves they don't make milk for you and they can't reproduce right away so it is a very kind of a delicate balancing act to make sure you've got enough of each the other problem i just noticed that i'm running into is that well our oldest calves that we have or the oldest cows i should say on the farm they're starting to drop in value now and once they're past that two year mark they're going to start dropping in value so I need to consider or maybe reconsider the way I'm running this operation. Now, we could, of course, sell all our cows off and probably make a decent amount of profit. We probably make three million bucks just from selling our cows off. I think somewhere close to that, but we want to keep this farm possibly going. We'll see. I think we could possibly just do, I think we're going to be close with this harvest season, this milk. If, if, the, the magic number is going to be around 27 to 3,000 bucks per thousand liters of milk. If I can get that, if I can get a great demand when the season is high for milk, I get, guys, I think we're going to be okay, and I think we're going to hit that $10 million. A little bit early. Just a touch early. Just a touch. So, of course, as I say that, everything starts coming together as I'm thinking about this, guys. Minor problem. Minor. Just a tiny little problem. Of course, we're up into April now, but... We're running low on some food. You can see, well, the straw is out once those bales are gone. We've got the silage bales are pretty much all gone. But moreover, guys, um, well, there's great demand for milk, so I'm probably going to have to start selling the milk as well. Kind of a problem. I mean, we got lots of hay bales, tons and tons of hay bales, but this is our last little silage bale. Maybe I should yank this thing. Can I eat it out of here? I think I'm, I feel like I should eat this thing out. No, um, guys, I think that's all we got for food. I'm gonna have to start thinking about making silage again. But moreover, guys, like I said, I've got a great demand for milk, so maybe it's time. I think the time has come that we start selling. Yeah, I think it's time. Let's get rid of the cows. Look at, look at, look at, look at. I sold off all of our, I sold off some cows. Now, let me just show you what I made. We've got our, what, $580,000 from selling our cattle. Yeah, not bad. Let's go sell the milk now and see what we're going to get from that because the milk's going to be a little bit more. Let's be honest. The milk is is really the profit maker. Some of the cows does pretty well, but we're not in the market for... The, we have the wrong type of cow for that. So we to uh, grab from our, our large tank and grab all the milk we've got in all the sister small tanks. And we'll sell these all off. Come on, big money. Let's go. Like I said, we need... What do we need? $9.8 million is what it needs to be at for us to hit their goal. That is the that is the goal. 9.8 million. You keep on watching that. Make sure we hit that. Back up. Go back to the open pasture. We've got the second tank back here. We've got to fill this one up as well. And then hopefully we've, we should have enough milk. I, like We have about 800,000 liters of milk, guys, is what we had. These cows have been producing for us. Go back. Let's sell this off. Come on. Just, we just need to get there. 9.8 million. I can't remember what the number is anymore. I, I, come on, we're so close. I feel like we're so close, you guys. Please, 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 come on, get... Oh, come on! <laughs> really, we're five... Like, $5,000 short. But look at the environmental score. Like I said, the environmental score really is what helps us. But we're still five grand short. I've got no more milk. We are out of milk, officially. There's nothing left. I got a plan, though. Guys, don't... Once again, don't tell anyone what we're doing with this tank. It's a little bit of... A, a little bit of, um... Wet manure... A little bit of slurry is not going to affect any milk tastes, right? Now, fortunately, we did purchase the BGA back when we did the uh, the silage. When we were doing all the silage, I thought maybe the BGA might be a really good idea for us to have. Well, now it's finally coming to use. I haven't used it once yet. It was a $22,000, $24,000 purchase. I haven't used it once. And finally, we found a purpose for it. It's taking our slurry. In you go. Get over that. Let's go. Come on. We need 5,000 bucks. 5,000. That's a slow, slow, slow increase. Please. Come on. Come on. Come on. Fill up. Fill up. Fill up. Fill up. Yes. Oh, finally. There you go. $10 million. There we go. 10 million bucks in cattle. Mission accomplished. Finally. Oh, bad. Ridiculous. You know, that's all we can sell, though. We only got another 15 out of it, guys. That's it. Um, it won't take any more. Not exactly a huge money maker, but it managed to push us over the hump. <laughs> I guess we'll take what we can get, right? So there you go, guys. We've missed, we've done it. We've officially done it. 10 million bucks in silage in five years. And then three years later, we managed to do another 10 million just in cattle. Now the cattle, a lot more work. I have to admit, like, let's just look at the numbers here. 
three million bucks in profit this year. Uh, sold milk was roughly two and a half, two and a bit million. You know, it's 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 doable, but you get it once a year. Once a year, you have a chance to make some money off the milk. The silage guys, we could make money year round. Like look at this, all the red before this on all the water and all our other running costs. But once a year, we're making three million bucks. So yeah, it does work out, but man, it's a pain by comparison. Total bales. I know that's always a question. 8,700 on the button we've made right now. Now we're about to jump back into these fields potentially. And, and um, well, we'd make a lot more bales, but 8,700 bales. We're in year eight, just coming through year eight. We'll be going into year nine pretty shortly here. There you go, guys. So that there, guys, is going to do it for us on Western Wilds, I think. I think, um, you know what? There's no better fitting way maybe to wrap things up than to jump back on the old case. We might as well go for a cruise on this old case again. Where we where it all started off, right? This is where it all started was in those tractors. We kept this thing the whole time. We don't have a lot of hours on it by comparison to some of our other tractors, but it's been good to have still around the farm. We still have used it for the odd it ends thing. But anyways, that's going to do it for us here on Western Wilds, I think, guys. This is the end of it. We've made 10 million bucks twice over. I think our total profits are probably closer to about 25 million bucks. If you haven't seen any of the other stuff on how we made all the bales, maybe how we built this farm, go check on the playlist on the Western Wild playlist. I'll make sure you guys can check all that out because uh, this was a lot of fun. I had a great time doing this playthrough, but I think it's time we, well, we move along a little bit. I think it's time to move on and try another setup of sorts. As many hours as we have in this map, I think it's uh, it's time for something something new. I don't know. Maybe we'll get Gertie to take care of this farm. Maybe we'll jump back to this at a later date. Who knows? I just think for now, we're done. We've done everything we possibly can to this farm, guys. I think we're happy. I'm happy, at least. Anyways, thanks again for watching and joining me today, guys. Of course, if you're new around the channel, make sure you go reach down below. Hit that big subscription button. Thanks again to our channel members who really help keep us going around here. So cheers to you members, as always. And of course, uh, make sure you guys slap the like on your way out as well. We'll be back very soon. Maybe we'll do a live stream on this where we'll do some more harvesting. And uh, if you guys have any questions on, on the map itself, come join us for those live streams. Anyways, guys, thanks again. Hope you guys enjoyed this series. And I can't wait to get started in something brand spanking new from 10 years in Western Wilds. Not quite. We did it before. We'll see you guys next time.